Black women deserve to feel protected. Black women deserve equal rights and equal pay. Black women deserve safe and nurturing communities. Black women deserve love, peace, joy, quality health care, self-care, and well-being. Black women deserve rest, peace of mind, and respect. Black women deserve to live healthy, thriving, and free. To live long and healthy lives full of beauty and joy and free of disease and illness and racism. Black women deserve to realize our full potential in a world that respects our humanity and where our children and our families can grow and prosper. Black women deserve to embrace their identities and express themselves freely without uh, being judged for not fitting the stereotype. Black women deserve health equity, quality education, to be heard, peace and respect. Black women deserve respect, trust, justice, the right to self-care, and the right to live the best life. Black women deserve not to die from childbirth. Black women deserve safe spaces to be who we are. Black women deserve health care providers that listen to and believe them. Black women deserve schools that believe in the excellence of our children. Black women deserve affordable housing in communities with access to green space. Black women deserve not to be the superhero. Black women deserve not just health, but flourishing health, safety, wellness, freedom, and joy. Well, black women deserve unbiased community partnerships. Well, black women also deserve loyalty, dignity, and partnerships in a community that reflects our health care that matters. Black women deserve the time and the energy to indulge in self-care without interruption. An abundance of both tangible and intangible luxury. Black women deserve access to the resources that give us the autonomy to create the lives that we want for ourselves. We as black women deserve simple and eternal bliss. Black women deserve everything, but more importantly, black women deserve quality education, access to quality health care, uh, equitable income and communities that support them. Black women deserve good health, peace, prosperity, and happiness. So when we begin to talk about black women deserve, we first have to start with us as a person, as self-care. So I deserve the fullness of, of what God has for me. That means health, wealth, strength, everything that he has for me. And when I get that, then I can bring that on to my community to say black women deserve in our community health, equity, strength, education, housing, all those things that make us already great. But then we put in that black excellence because we are black women deserve. Black women deserve. We are here today because Black women deserve. Good morning and welcome everyone to the 13th annual Black Women's Wellness Day two-day virtual summit. My name is Lisa Payton Kerr, founder, CEO, and president of the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness and founder of Black Women's Wellness Day. I am so excited to welcome you here this morning as you join us from cities and states across the United States and right here in Wisconsin, where we are headquartered in our state's beautiful capital city of Madison, Wisconsin. I send you greetings and a heartfelt welcome this morning from our board of directors, our staff team, our Black Women's Wellness Day planning team members, and the legions of women here in our community and across the United States who comprise our growing nation of well Black women. We are 600 plus women, allies and partners strong this weekend. We have officially gone national for the second consecutive year with women and guests representing over 34 different states across the USA, from Alabama to California, from Texas to New York, from Virginia and the Carolinas to our nation's capital of Washington, DC, and right here in Wisconsin. And with attendees tuned in, I understand, from as far away as West Africa and Spain. 
We are very fortunate this year to gather together in the midst of an ongoing global pandemic as our communities continue to be impacted in unspeakable ways as we navigate the challenges posed by this unprecedented time in our history. Indeed, to be present and accounted for today is a blessing. And one reason why hosting this year's event and spending this time together in this virtual space even means so much. We are so grateful that you chose to spend this weekend with us as we commit together to building the future we deserve. Before I go any further, I want to enthusiastically thank our many generous sponsors who made this year's event possible again. We have over 42 sponsors who showed up powerfully this year. They represent businesses, nonprofit organizations, city, county, and state government, real estate development, local co-ops, and small businesses. These sponsors have stepped up to the plate to assert that investing and supporting Black women's health and in the work of the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness is a priority. We would like to give a special thanks to our presenting sponsor for the second consecutive year, the American Family Institute for Corporate and Social Impact. We are grateful to have Naira Jordan with us again this year. And this morning, uh, you'll hear from Naira, the Director of Social Impact Initiatives, who will uh, have remarks later in our program. We are also grateful for our diamond sponsor, CUNA Mutual Group, who is represented today by Alex Shade, Director of Corporate Social Responsibility, who we'll also hear from shortly. We also thank our platinum sponsors, UW Health, Unity Point Health Meritor, Healthy Dane Funders, Madison Gas and Electric, Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin, Summit Credit Union, and WPS Health Solutions. And to all of our sponsors, thank you. Your support makes the difference and we succeed. We truly succeed because of you. And we invite you all to visit our website, blackwomenswellnessday.org to see all of the sponsors, too numerous to list uh, right now. Please visit all of our sponsors in the expo area to the left of your screen, get to know them, interact with them, and learn more about their work and their services. And please support the many organizations and small businesses who've joined us today as vendors and exhibitors. You can also visit them in our expo area and patronize them throughout the weekend and beyond today's event. Now, for those of you who may not know or who may be joining us for the very first time, uh, Black Women's Wellness Day uh, is our signature annual event launched in 2009 um, and has now become the signature event of the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization based in Madison, Wisconsin, uh, established in 2012 by myself in a committed board of founding women uh, who created this vision with me. And they are here today with us in the audience and tuned in. Our commitment is to empower a generation of well Black women. And Black Women's Wellness Day is just one of those avenues that we use to do that. We are so proud to celebrate 13 years of bringing information, inspiration, and empowerment now to thousands of Black women across Wisconsin and the country. Black Women's Wellness Day is a time of reclaiming our power, recentering ourselves around what's most essential to us as Black women, and a time to progressively and continuously shift and grow upward. Black Women's Wellness Day is also a time of reflection for us to chronicle the progress and the growth of the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness as we work to energize, mobilize, and support Black women to transform their lives and to drive systems level change. Since we gathered last year, the foundation has carried on to achieve many milestones. I'm just gonna share a few with you. Uh, visit our website, you all, ffbww.org, which we just launched again today um, to learn more about our extensive work. But in this last year, since we last met, we have doubled our team and our capacity to carry out our work and to make a bigger impact in our community and across our state. We've stayed true to our commitment to drive an agenda that places Black women and our well being at the center of public accountability and investment. 
We have reached and engaged over 7,000 women and families this past year through our programming that includes health promotion and preventative education, virtual fitness classes, and holistic wellness programming that builds mind, body, spirit, and financial wellness. We have supported women and families in navigating healthcare and advocating for themselves and their healthcare experiences and in accessing affordable health insurance through partnerships with organizations like Covering Wisconsin, all while quietly assisting dozens of women each year through our one-on-one -on -one crisis support assistance and case management. We have continued to partner with local health systems to lead and drive a strategy and solutions to improve the birth outcomes of Black mothers birthing people and babies in Dane County and Wisconsin. And you can visit our website, ffbww.org slash saving our babies to learn more about this work. And as a part of that work, we've partnered in launching Dane County's first ever Black Maternal and Child Health Alliance, which collectively with us hosted our county's first Black Maternal Child Health Summit in April of this year to a statewide audience and you can view that entire summit on our website as well. We have advocated for systems change through big initiatives and partnerships with health systems, nonprofits, and city, county, and state government. We have provided representation and thought leadership in shaping the public narrative about Black women's health in our state and nationally through publications, media, and in countless public speaking engagements. We have informed and influenced state policy around the health of Black women, mothers, babies, and families. And we will ramp up those efforts in 2022. We have remained present and responsive to the needs of our community through the height of the global pandemic, providing accurate information, safety education, keeping our community informed and educated on COVID-19 protocols, assisting with mass distribution, and with the help of our donors, we have distributed over $75,000 in community aid to Black women and families over the last year to help them remain housing, food, and income secure. And we thank our donors who've enabled us to do that. As we go forward, there is still work to do. Over the next 12 months, we'll be very busy and we've already started. We will grow our wellness ambassador program of passionate women who partner with us to drive health and wellness in their neighborhoods and communities. We will launch the Well Black Woman Institute, a health equity leadership academy for black women across Wisconsin who will lead the change we need to transform black women's health and to drive health equity in Wisconsin. And we will spearhead, publish, and release the first ever policy blueprint for Black women's health in Wisconsin, a roadmap to achieve true health equity and well being for Black women in our state. Today, we are proud to preview our policy blueprint with the release of our Black Women Deserve preamble. We're very proud of this preamble, and we think you will be too. The link is on its way to you in the chat. And in fact, I see our tech team is flashing the link on our website. We want you to press that link right now uh, or when you leave this session uh, to view the policy blueprint preamble. The preamble offers nine pillars that will shape our statewide engagement, advocacy, and actions. You can download it right now. You can also visit our virtual booths in the expo area to learn more about these initiatives, our ambassadors, our institute, our policy preamble, and you can sign up to learn more about how to get involved. And you can join our closing session today to learn more and hear more directly from our staff about these important projects. And there's so much more to do. Uh, we, what we have in store for you today and tomorrow is probably something you're waiting to hear. And you can see the agenda at the bottom of your screen uh, that we're all looking at right now. There's a wonderful expanded agenda to see all the things we have in store. We have a lineup for you of incredible speakers, workshops, panels, discussions, and keynotes designed to inform you, inspire you, and empower you into action we're talking about action today, you all. We're not just talking, we're talking about action in your personal life, 
and in your collective pursuit with us as well, Black women and allies committed to building the future that Black women deserve. You will hear from national and statewide leaders and experts on current issues, challenges, and opportunities facing us as Black women and advocates as we step forward to secure our lives and our future. Tomorrow, you'll simply be inspired and empowered by powerful keynote speakers and panelists who will pour into your personal health, your financial wellness, um, and you'll also hear a great closing new leaders panel. And in between, we'll talk about entrepreneurship and business as Black women. Uh, and we know that is a topic that we must embrace. So be sure to catch that agenda, be on time for these sessions. There's a lot to do in this interface uh, this weekend to connect, to engage, to learn, and to be activated. But now I'd like to acknowledge our incredible sponsors and partners who made this year's event possible, starting with a special video from Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers. Hi hey folks, Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers here. I am thrilled to join you for this year's virtual summit celebrating the 13th anniversary of Black Women's Wellness Day. For 13 years, the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness Team has hosted this important day and provided insightful advice and guidance on how Black women in Wisconsin and across the country can improve their health and lead healthy, full lives. I don't need to tell you how critical this work is. In Wisconsin, Black women face significant health disparities and obstacles to care. And the COVID-19 pandemic has further underscored these inequities, disproportionately impacting Black communities in Wisconsin and around the country. Your work today and every day to support Black women in pursuing health and wellness is essential to our collective work to address these inequities. You truly embody the theme of this year's summit. You are building the future each and every Black woman deserves. And know that as Governor of Wisconsin, closing the health care gap and building an equitable and safe state where every Wisconsinite can thrive is a top priority of mine. In back-to-back -back budgets, I prioritize investments in Black women's health with my Healthy Women, Healthy Babies initiatives, including Medicaid coverage for doula services, $3.5 million for organizations working to reduce disparities related to maternal and infant mortality, and $4.5 million for Black women-led organizations working to improve Black women's wellness in the community, like the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness. But our work isn't done. I will keep fighting for an equitable Wisconsin and support the incredible work you're doing across our state and country. So with that, congratulations to the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness on reaching this milestone. Thank you, and I wish you a productive and enjoyable rest of your summit. Thank you so much, Governor Evers. And now a word from our presenting sponsor, American Family Institute for Corporate and Social Impact, Naira Jordan, Director of Social Impact. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Absolutely. Good morning. And thank you for having me here this morning. I, I feel like everything that Lisa and her team uh, puts on and delivers is so intentional. So the fact that this is on a Friday morning after a long week of meetings, being on Zoom, going to events, taking teenagers to cheerleading practice and running them all over town. The fact that this is a Friday morning where everybody is out of the house and I can totally center on this event. I am so grateful for that. So thank you and your team for the intentionality around having this at the end of the work week. It's amazing. Um, as Lisa said, I'm Naira Jordan. I'm the Social Impact Investment Director with the American Family Insurance Institute for Corporate and Social Impact. And first, I want to extend a hearty welcome to all of you this morning. But I also want to give a big congratulations to Lisa and her inspirational team at the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness on their 13th annual Black Women's Wellness Day. At the American Family Institute, we believe that in order to best serve our customers and our communities, we need to build a movement that increases access to opportunity, social equity, financial mobility, and hope. With that in mind, we're committed to action that works to close equity gaps and empowers communities to dream big, to dream bold, and to dream fearlessly. And so we've launched the American Family Insurance Institute for Corporate and Social Impact 
in 2018 as a demonstration of our unyielding commitment to making those dreams possible. So this year's theme of Black Women's Wellness Day is building the future we deserve. As Black women, we don't always take the time to think about what we deserve, especially as it relates to our own health and well-being. Growing up, I know I watched my mother consistently place uh, the well-being of others over her own, and I've found myself repeating that pattern in my own life. And so in addition to taking care of our families, we show up for our communities to fight for causes bigger than ourselves. Black women have been the spearhead of social justice movements throughout American history. So as caretakers, healers, breadwinners, entrepreneurs, and frankly, saviors of this democracy, we've normalized deprioritizing ourselves and our needs. But the Foundation for Black Wellness, Women's Wellness is here to say, not anymore, not today. As Black women, we deserve a life full of health, wealth, and freedom. And with this year's summit, the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness is empowering a new generation of Black women and families to not only sustain healthy wellness-centered lives, but to identify the changes that need to happen both personally and systemically to remove barriers to the health and well-being we deserve for the long term. So that's why we at the American Family Insurance Institute continue to support the Foundation for Black Women's Wellness and their annual Black Women's Wellness Day. It is imperative that the solutions to society's problems come from innovators like the Foundation. Their mission is centered on Black women and girls who are disproportionately overrepresented in all major categories of disease and illness. And they understand the barriers blocking access to the full benefits of the opportunities that we all deserve. So Black Women's Wellness Day is rooted in the foundation's deep commitment to shape the world that we require to live our best lives and to walk in our greatest power. So thank you to Lisa and team at the foundation for Black Women's Wellness for your work in our community, for your work in changing policy and systems and it is an honor for me to be here with you today. So thank you, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the summit. Woo, thank you so much, Naira. I am so honored uh, to have listened to you, to have you in this space, and so grateful for American Family Institute for Co Corporate and Social Impact. Um, this has been an amazing partnership, and I look forward to all the things we have ahead to do together. Uh, health, wealth, and freedom. I wrote those words down. Um, that is what we're working to achieve together for Black women. I'd now like to introduce um, Alexandra Shade, Director of Social Impact of CUNA Mutual Group, our diamond sponsor. Thank you, Alex, for being with us here today and for sporting your well Black Great. woman t-shirt. <laughs> it's a little big, but you know what? We make it work. We make things work. Oh, we love it. I love it. Well, good morning and happy Friday. Let's give it up some more snaps and some more claps as a thank you to the organizers, to the team, to the Black women and girls who are investing in themselves and within the sisterhood. If there was anybody that I had to follow, I'm really glad that it was Naira since we oftentimes like have the same vernacular and have the same words. So what an amazing welcome and opening. I was jamming out in the back. I don't know if anybody else could see me. So Thank you so much for just bringing that energy to the welcome um, and making it very open and inclusive and just helping to set that tone. So I would also like to add on to that list that Black women deserve to be at this summit. I am so excited to welcome each and every one of you to the 13th annual Black Women's Wellness two-day virtual transformation summit. It's already starting to transform things within me. Um, as Lisa said, I'm Alex Shade, and I serve as the Director of Corporate Social Responsibility at CUNA Mutual Group, a company founded on the principle of people helping people. We believe a brighter financial future should be accessible to everyone, and it is our mission to break down those barriers of financial instability. One thing I want to ask that each of you remember throughout today and tomorrow is that you deserve to be here. Actually, all of us deserve to be here and to be unapologetic for taking the time to be present, vulnerable, and to embrace our emotions. I actually just got out a box of tissues as well because I don't know what's gonna surface, but I know as a black woman, I know I seldom take that time to invest in myself. And I often struggle with the obligations of presenting an image of strength um, and groundedness and that internal struggle to always be there with helping others. This is why I'm putting myself first. This is why we must put ourselves first and we must invest in our own mental, psychological, emotional, and financial well-being. 
Remember, the conference is a gift to all of us. It only happens once a year, people. So always mark your calendars for this time in September. But remember, we deserve this. We deserve this because this is our superpower. Our superpower. It's not just defined by being super women. It's by what and how we show up and how we use those strengths, how we use our love, how we use our wisdom, and how we're there for each and every one to empower ourselves to live healthy, whole, and meaningful lives. And I hope that each of us does not lose sight of who we are and all that we bring. So on that note, enough talking from me. I encourage you to embrace each health and wellness session and to remember the importance of building the financial security that you deserve. Yes, thank you so much, Alex Shade, for joining us this morning from CUNA Mutual Group. You're right, we deserve to be here. We're grateful for everyone who understood that they deserve to be here, who invited others to be here. And we thank CUNA Mutual Group for being a consistent sponsor and supporter of this important occasion and of our work uh, beyond Black Women's Wellness Day. We now I'd like to welcome Wisconsin State Representative Sheila Stubbs. We are exceedingly honored and grateful to have with us our Wisconsin State Representative representing Wisconsin's 77th Assembly District and representing all of us in our interest at the highest levels of state government. Representative Stubbs, we are grateful to see your beautiful face this morning and to oh steal you away from your busy schedule. <laughs> I am so honored. Oh my God, I am so honored. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And you have done a phenomenal job introducing me. I'll just add a little bit more. Uh, so I, I represent the beautiful 77th Assembly District, which is comprised of the south and west parts of Madison, the village of Shorewood Hills, which includes the University of Wisconsin-Madison, Madison College, South Campus, and Edgewood College. And I am also a Dane County Board of Supervisor. I represent District 23, South Madison, and I am so honored that the people across the state of Wisconsin and the county have elected me. I've been in my positions for 16 years. So again, it is just an honor. It is an honor to be here today, joining you for a 13th annual Black Women Wellness Day. I wanna thank you, Lisa Kierpain, the founder, my friend, a CEO, a president, a mother, must I go on? I wanna thank you. I wanna thank the Black Women Wellness, the staff, the board of directors, each of you who come and rescue me while I'm here in the Capitol and get me out of my office and get me walking and exercising. I will never forget our partnership. This is an absolute wonderful and necessary event for today and welcome each of you, the attendees who have taken the time to amend your very busy schedules to be here with us on a Friday morning. I also would be remiss if I didn't thank Governor Tony Evers for his video message. It is an honor to serve with him across the state of Wisconsin every day. I certainly want to make sure that you recognize that Wisconsin is the worst place to raise a black family. As of 2019, Wisconsin has the highest rate of infant mortality among non-Hispanic Black residents. The health of our Black children, the health of our Black mothers need to be a priority for all of those who represent us in the Wisconsin State Capitol. Inequity is causing us Black lives and an inaction is hurting, yes, the Black community. As the Black representative from Dane County in the state capitol, I broke 170 years of history. But guess what? I didn't do it alone. I did it because of you, the resiliency, the strength of Black women. As a mother, as a pastor, as a community activist, I know firsthand the importance of Black women's health. It is my life. It is literally my life. I must continue to make the health of Black women a priority. In fact, I mandate that it is a priority at every level of government. In fact, last session, I introduced Assembly Bill 932, which created a funding priority for the Department of Health Services to fund maternal and child health services to improve the health and economically disadvantaged minority groups. This session, 
I supported Governor Ebert's budget, which invested $30 million into Healthy Women, Healthy Babies Initiative. And today, I am reminded that we must continue to fight for our life, for our health, for our equality. If Black women are unwell, the Black community is unwell. If the Black community is unwell, then guess what? The state of Wisconsin is unwell. We must address health disparities directly, and we must continue to fight for a better Wisconsin for everyone. As the former First Lady Michelle Obama so wisely said, and I quote, as women, we must stand up for ourselves. As women, we must stand up for each other. As women, we must stand up for justice for all. Thank you, President Peyton Kerr. Thank you, the Foundation for Black Women Wellness for standing up for every Black woman across the state of Wisconsin. I know for a fact that this will continue to be a wonderful program that has been scheduled. God bless you. God bless the state of Wisconsin. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Representative Stubbs, you took us to church. <laughs> you took us to the mountaintop. Uh, we see the comments on the screen, preach, soror, bring it. Uh, we appreciate you so much for being with us this morning and we appreciate you so much for being with us in the community. We appreciate you so much for joining us as the, at the Capitol as we walk, for walking with us, for standing with us, for inviting us in uh, to your leadership, to your legislative discussions about what Black women need. We thank you for your open door policy at all times and we thank you for your passionate, consistent representation of our needs and our interests as a community. You are our champion here in Dane County and Wisconsin, and we appreciate your unapologetic advocacy for Black women's health and our families and our community 365 days of the year, maybe more because you know, you're always working. So we appreciate you. Thank you for taking time. Um, and thank you for always showing up for us when it matters most, Representative Stubbs. Thank you. And now uh, a special introduction of a very talented, beautiful artist, spoken word artist, special guest friend, Ms. Nichelle Nichols. Um, it's time to be inspired uh, with the inspirational words that we know we need to center us and set us on the right energy. I introduce to you Nichelle Nichols, educator, mother, change agent, spoken word artist and all around powerful presence and ray of light to bless us and bring us into the space with her powerful message this morning. Good morning, Nichelle. Good morning. Thank you. You're so welcome. All right. What if we wrote our stories anew? Not erasing the experiences, but paying attention to what our bodies always knew without words. What if we learned to fine tune our interpretations of feelings, honoring instincts and, and uh, distinctions between pain, fear, joy, and freedom? What if we believed we deserve ease and pleasure and the emancipation of our younger selves chained to the deepest secrets and darkest moments of our great great grandmothers? What if we believed we are free? In our futures, we rise up to claim ourselves even when they don't want us. We claim our bodies, our wellness, our thoughts, dreams, and aspirations. And if we are loved well, we will savor every minute. And if we are seeking to understand the depths of love and justice, we will embrace our wholeness and our wounds and our hopes and baptize all of them in healing, grace, and discovery. We're gonna tell our younger selves, come on girl, walk faster, we got somewhere to go. Cause we deserve a future that we are excited about. And we're gonna tell our older selves, girl, you did that. Cause we're not holding back no more. 
Cause this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Cause we are on our way. We are pushing through, climbing, steady, one step, sometimes sprinting, breathing deeply. We're going to get there. We're gonna stop to hear the applause of generations cheering. We're gonna drop our chains at our ankles clasping hands in prayer, whispering to ancestors and our higher source, thank you. I am writing my story anew. I'm building my future. And in my future, I shed the negative thoughts I hold of myself. I'm gonna detox from my own toxicity. I nurture my dreams. I stop apologizing for wanting to be happy, well, and well off. I smile. I laugh loudly, I cry, I paint rainbows in the sky, I feel, I flow, I flex. I imagine I can extend my reach beyond what I can see. I learn to accept help and feedback and advice to help me grow. And I am grateful and I tell my older self, girl, you did that. And I look back at my younger self and I say, girl, come on, walk faster. We got somewhere to go. Yes, Black women, we are writing our stories anew. We are building a future, a place where prayers are heard, songs are sung, and stories take meaning every day. You deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve it. You deserve it. Thank you. <laughs> I want to scream, but I know I shouldn't in this platform with you all this morning, but I want to scream. If you heard that, let me see your messages in the chat. Come on, we got somewhere to go, Black women. Michelle. Did you come in here and flex on us this morning with those beautiful words? We thank you. We are moved. We are filled. We are inspired. That's the boost I needed today. Yes, it's all so good, Michelle. Snapping and clapping. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're going to replay that uh, a million times beyond today. Thank you, Michelle, for that original heartfelt spoken word piece. Yes, heard that loud and clear says Troy Smith. Yes, Belize says scream. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Black women deserve. You deserve it. I deserve it. We deserve it. Thank you, Nichelle. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to our special guests. We visit, uh, we invite you to sit back, relax, Pull out your paper and pen, get your water bottle or your green juice going, plan your menu, grab your healthy snacks, visit our virtual booth, our DJ stage, our expo, our vendors. I I've lost track of my notes after those words from the shell. <laughs> I'm all over the place, bursting with joy and energy and vibrance and hope, thinking about the future that we will build today in progress together. Uh, join us today and tomorrow as we come together to build the future we deserve. And we will see you shortly for our opening expert panel starting at 10 a.m. Go visit our virtual booths, our DJ stage, our expo, and we'll see you back here on the main stage at 10. Thank you, everyone.